Greetings, Dark Souls Guru here. In this amalgamation of slime and villainy are the bosses of Dark Souls 3. We've gathered them here together for a fight to the death to see who's the strongest. But which one will win the Dark Souls 3 tournament? Hello, and welcome to a battle we've been waiting for. With great interest, the Dancer of the Real Valley, the Flaming Sword, versus Slave Knight Gale, and his just overpowered cheapness. Fight? The Dancer moving in, getting the measure of this man. Before the dance begins, she gives him a few good hits there. He's been a gentleman. Let the lady get the first hit in there. Rules of Dark Souls. <laughs> Honest. Now my money's on Slave Night Gale, as we see straight away he's doing way more damage. More aggressive, more overpowered. He's got a cheating crossbow. And he's got multiple forms and so forth. He's got no chance. But she might surprise us. She got through by the skin of her teeth against Pontiff. Can she do it again? That's a power move. She might start to get angry now. Swiftly cleft him. He's being quite vicious. He's got no problem hitting a woman. She's doing very little damage to him so far. He's well in the lead. But we saw this happen with Ponte. In the bag and he suddenly just lost. He managed to turn his own rule against him. And she almost deflect the damage on herself to him. Eat Ember's Gale and doesn't doesn't face it. He keeps up the relentless attack. So far he's unstoppable. They're matched. And her dancing isn't helping in any way. She's knocking him back pretty good though. If she kept that up. Get dancing. Get some good combos up her sleeve. But he's a maniac. An unstoppable maniac. And contender to win it all. If anyone can beat Medea, it might be him. I'm not seeing any kind of skill here though, surprisingly. Just a lot of smashing each other with swords. She's gonna have to do something more than that. A bit of dancing would help. But this man doesn't want to dance. He wants to be killed quickly. What he's best at. He's doing it quite well here. Oh, she dodged around him that time though with a massive combination. If she kept doing that, she'd have a chance. Well, here come the discs. They come and then they come back. Massive damage in the arse. She's not even on halfway health yet, and she's almost felled. This is no contest at all. He just wants to get through to the next round quickly as possible. He's got something to prove. And she really doesn't. But she's getting mad now. Now the anger really begins. And the demonic energy. The lightning is all powerful and all consuming. And she's out! Easily this time. He made up for Pontiff's crucial mistakes. I think he's going to be going through against, well, the Sandworm is a potentially formidable foe, but we shall see. Click the link for the playlist to watch this whole tournament. And check out the Sekiro Watch Tournament playlist if you didn't watch it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, because we love it.